Hey guys, it's early morning, just got up. I am not a morning person, but I'm going to see my favorite band today in Philadelphia. So I'm awake and out here with the dogs. Rained last night, cooled down a little bit, so that's good. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but for me, uh, going to see my favorite band, which I've never seen before, The Cure. I gotta see them. Never done it, so I, I just have to make an exception. I do not like going to shows at all. I do not like the crowds. I don't like to be sandwiched in. I don't like to be, I'm, not, I'm impatient. I don't want to see a cover band. Uh, you know, I don't want to stand there for hours and hours, but I do want to see my favorite band, which I've listened to for over 30 years now. I've, I've loved them and I just have to go see The Cure. I don't know if anybody else is like that or not. I'm kind of not looking forward to this. At the same time, I kind of am looking forward looking forward to seeing the band i'm not looking forward to going into that chaos of all the people i'm also going to take some video while i'm there because that's what i want to do all right well i got to get on the road soon so i have to get ready with the doggies out here and feed them shower and hit the road because um philly is what i don't know maybe four hours away me and my brother's down there anyway i'll uh I'll talk to you soon. We used to go through this when I was a little kid. I was so excited. Now I'm a little claustrophobic, to be honest. Going through the tunnel in Pennsylvania. Here we go. You know, things you gotta do to see the cure. There you go. And we made it. Nothing but blue skies full of clouds. We're in Philadelphia. All right, we're at the hotel and I met up with my brothers. Two of them, going two to of see the three. The cure. We're gonna see the cure. This is my first time in forever. I've never seen them. Third in two weeks. Yeah, how many times have you seen them all together? I don't know. Over ten? Probably. Check out, check out the view. For once, it's not a bad view. Look at that. It's not a brick wall. <laughs> it's not a brick wall, right? It, it, this looks like a painting, but it's real life. Look at that. We all got Philly cheesesteaks and Pat got the Korean fries. The Philly cheesesteaks are made with shreds from Blackbird. So we just ate at Algorithm. We all got Philly cheesesteaks. It was good. Go there if you want a Philly cheesesteak. If you need to take money out and this doesn't work, just go over to this one. And DM, just got all the cash you need. Now it's time to go to the cure. Okay, we're parking right here. Top of the parking garage on the casino. Somebody just got in the elevator and before it closed, they yelled, vegan zombie. I think they were talking to me. <laughs> Look at that view. 
Look at that view. We're taking a nice walk. We're trying to figure out how to go to this place, the Wells Center, Wells Fargo Center. All right, there it is. That's where we're going. I smell weed. I smell weed, yes. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in the same building as the Cure right now. So here we go. Here we go. The lines are miles long to get a t-shirt. My first concert. Okay, so this is the first time I'm going to be seeing the band. I've never seen them before. So they make their entrance very slowly they come on the stage to an ambient kind of thunderstorm. It was really cool. And they all go to their places and Robert Smith, the front man, he slowly goes to each, you know, part of the stage and he, he kind of greets everyone and smiles and he, people start throwing them bouquets of flowers. So it's really cool. Check it out. Here we go. So obviously I can't uh, put the music in here or else it, I'll get a copyright strike. But uh, he came out and people in the front row threw him a bunch of flowers and he came out to greet everyone and it was really powerful. It was, it was amazing seeing him for the first time, um, seeing this band playing for the first time and the way they came out um, just was perfect. So. I'll show you some more clips, but uh, I can't do too much of the music. I realize that I haven't been there since 2008 or something. So yeah, so just like this.
And then they played my favorite song. I can't describe how amazing it was. Robert hugged Perry, and then he sang to both sides of the crowd. He had to be there. I wish I could just play the whole song for you, but it will be taken down. So I'm only playing quick lick excerpts of it. And this was just mesmerizing. Plain Song has been my favorite song for over 30 years. I remember exactly where I was when I first heard the song. And if you can see here, I turned the camera over to my brother because they both know that this was my favorite song. And I was almost afraid that maybe they weren't going to play it. There's Pat smiling at me. And if you want to see this whole version, I've uploaded it to my Instagram account, The Vegan Zombie. You can go check it out over there. It is amazing. This really did mean so much to me to be able to hear this live. And here is the moment that he gives Perry a hug and he goes over to the stage, edge of the stage, and he sings. And I'm wondering if this is because the lyrics are... Sometimes you make me feel like I'm living at the edge of the world and he goes to the edge of the stage and he sings the verses and then normally the song would be done, but he sings that last verse a second time to the other side of the stadium. And then he's walking very slowly to the other side of the stage now. And it was uh, it was a nice surprise that he sang that last verse a second time. I've actually been trying to play this song on the piano, trying to learn it. It really is uh, my favorite song. I'll admit it, my eyes watered up a little. And then they went right into disintegration, so powerful, I had to keep filming.
Wilson before we come back. Thank you! Everybody wants the merch. So now that we've saw the best show that we've ever seen, we're heading to the casino because that's where we parked for free. If we can find it. It's a nice summer night. It's a six minute car drive because of the traffic. If we just walk, it'll be less probably. It's a 20 minute walk. 20 minute walk? It didn't even take us 20 minutes to get here. We is this just, different? Hold on. We just bought a blue leg shirt. Is it different? Blue leg shirt. Yes. Hold on. They're selling the blue leg shirts for uh, twenty dollars. We offered ten and we got them. We probably could have offered five and got them. So I got a nice blue leg cure shirt. I'll show you guys when we get back to the hotel. I don't have a fiver. Yeah. So uh, I got some cool, cool cure uh, memorabilia. Wow, best band, best band ever, and in live, even after all these years, amazing, perfect, sounded just like no, it won't. The CDs. Kill you. Yeah, don't. Uh, do what? It. it won't show up. Oh, these girls are doing it. What? They got doing the nitrous. They're doing nitrous. Oh, it's a muggy, muggy, muggy night. Oh yeah. So Brian's been to many Cure concerts, and I've never been. This is the first time, and it was amazing. I can't believe it. I even got teary when playing song came on and then disintegration came on right after it like so much emotion going through my body i couldn't even hold my camera up um how does it how did how did that show compare to all the other cure shows that you've seen one of the best i've been to i think two others that i would say were maybe tied or better and one was in boston and like i don't know eight years ago and the one that i think was like all-time best was the first one that I ever went to in 96 at the Pepsi Arena. I was, I was hesitant to go just because I don't like crowds and I didn't want to travel down here and I didn't want to go down there and possibly be claustrophobic, but I got an NC and I had so much fun. Uh, freak, the Cure, awesome set list. Best band ever. And Robert Smith still sounds amazing all these years later in live. A night like this, push. Six different ways. Six different ways. Disintegration. Charlotte sometimes. Uh, night like this. We said that. Oh. <laughs> Boys don't cry. Friday I'm in love. They did uh, from the me. edge of the deep green sea. I mean, they did all of my favorites. Shake, I God, mean, shake. I was gonna be disappointed if they didn't play a playing song and all of a sudden, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh awesome. My God, it, it was aw like. This was our third show in two weeks, and by far, this was the best one. Yeah, and then we got some bootleg shirts for 10 bucks. Yeah, they were 20, but we got them for 10. I mean, it's a Cure shirt. It's so a Cure shirt. Look at that. We'll never get bam, another one like that. And And it shows bam. the tour dates. Yeah. Oh my God, I, I, I would go see them definitely again. I, I waited all these years, and I didn't go with you guys to see them, just because yeah. I don't like going in crowds like that. It was like- But it wasn't that bad. I, I loved it. I'm so glad I got to see this. My the, favorite band of all time. The last two we went to were outside. They weren't that bad. I mean, we had seats. I and liked it in there. I, I brought some earplugs. I put them in there. I didn't even really need them for the cure. No, they were they were awesome. But, Twilight Sad opener, really good. 
killer drummer. Killer drummer. That last song they played was pretty good. Yeah. Oh my god, the, when when they when okay, when the cure came out, I don't know what they were playing. They were just playing some instrumental and they just kind of like walked around the stage. It was amazing. They uh, that's the new song called Alone. Okay, I that was amazing. I love that. Yeah. Awesome. And um well So Robert Smith, Roger O'Donnell, Simon Gallup, Harry Bermani's back. Horace Williams. Uh, no, but no. He wasn't there? No, Jason Cooper is the drummer. Oh, that wasn't Boris? Yeah. Well, Look, Jason Cooper's awesome. He looked like him. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so, Burn. Do, 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 do. so the, the story that I heard, oh, and Reeves Gabriel, killer guitar player. Yeah. Not poor old, but killer guitar player. Harry Bomonti, Simon. Yeah. The good old crew. We so, are out in the middle of nowhere. We still got to go that way. There's no uh, strength in numbers because there's no numbers. It's just <laughs> there's us. There's no numbers here. We're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're Look at my hair. It's so muggy out. My hair is going everywhere. So, I heard that song today. What was I going to say? We were talking um, about the You were members, talking about the members. And then what was I going to say? Reeves. Reeves. Jason Cooper. Yeah. I don't know what I was going to say. Let us know in the comments below if you know what Brian what's was going to say. What's your favorite Cure song? What's your favorite Cure song? Yes. And what's your favorite Cure album? Mine. Okay, I'll go first. Mine. My all-time favorite album is Disintegration. My all-time favorite song is Plain Song. There's a lot of seconds, though. Like yeah. It's yours. Um... I don't know if I can say an all-time favorite, honestly. Really? Yeah. Okay, so give me like three of like so, your favorites. So, uh, Too Late, which is a B-side. Right. Um, from the Disintegration Era. Um, a Night Like This from Head on the Door. Push from the Head on the Door. Yep. Strange Day from Pornography. See, I like the more... Figurehead. I think I like the more emotional ones, like, like Plain Song. Um, same deep water as you from the edge of deep green sea. Yeah, from the edge of deep green sea is one of my favorite songs. That's yeah. I can't they hold played, the phone like, up anymore. My arm is all time favorite songs. Yeah, it was awesome. They didn't play a strange day. But... Nope. That was the one that I had you guess the other day. Yeah. Well. But um, it was awesome. I can't hold this like this, this anymore. This is fun. This is... I'm glad we we're doing this. Yeah, yeah. We should do a live sometime. Yeah. Um, we should do a cure live. Do you guys want us to do that? Let us know in the comments below and what's your favorite comments cure below. song and cure album right because you know what? it could be different like oh and if you don't like i have a lot of favorite songs from the head on the door but that's not my favorite album see the cure have so many different songs and, and albums like if you don't like one of their songs like they have so many other kind of different kinds of songs like uh boys don't cry is completely different but than anything on disintegration yeah um just Check it out. Maybe I did some party songs like Friday I'm in Love, Why right. Can I Be You, Just Like Heaven. Right. You know. Right. And, pro and most people in the, that don't really know The Cure, they know Love Song and they know Friday I'm in Love. And yeah. Just Like Heaven. But All right. Killer killer show. Killer show. Okay. I'm going to put the, the, the vlog arm down. My arm is... That was like doing a plank with my arm for 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Here I, we go. I get it. We're at the casino now. Yeah. Next time, let me know uh, ahead of time because I would have loved to go to maybe... A Boston one or something. Boston was good. Boston was really good. We got all the colors. I, I up wanna there. say one of the best ones we went to was just me and Pat and we went to Cleveland and that was really good. Yeah, that sounds cool. It was very Did similar. Did you drive? Yeah. Very similar to tonight's set list. Very similar. There's but they didn't play Charlotte sometimes. Oh my god. They played uh, so, if so only tonight we could sleep. Charlotte sometimes is definitely it's, it's, it's one a, of my favorites. Right yeah, his his daughter, my goddaughter, is named Charlotte after that song. Yep. Okay, live. We are at 40, and when I say 40, I mean 4D, as in dog. So we're over there. Dumpy. Dumpy. I get to drive because I don't drink. Mm. We're in the alcohol-free zone. Let me put this back here. Oh, there's my. But other... I didn't drink that much tonight. You want to drive? Like I feel really good. No, I don't want to drive. <laughs> no, we're not gonna let Brian drive. I'm gonna drive. It is hot. Yeah, we should turn the air on. Yeah. Where's your key? How's you? Just press the button. Push to start. Boom. What are they doing in the back? I don't know what they're doing back there. What are you guys doing? I'm Eating their cheesecake. I mean cheesesteak. Do you got the hippies? They got hippies. You know the vegan hippies? Oh yeah, I know. Maybe tomorrow. We'll Perfect parking out. job. Uh, under the bridge. But uh, now it's time to go. So good night, everyone. Thanks I for. Oh, we didn't have any Fascination Street. We had a forest. Um, We've been to three shows so far, and we haven't heard Fascination Street. Right, yet. right. Well, anyway, um, thanks for watching our little Cure... Endeavor. Endeavor, yeah. That's a good word for it. And now it's time. It's been a long day. I got up really early, and I didn't get much sleep because Andy likes to poop on the floor now. Aww. Oh, man. Yeah, he's getting, getting old. old. 
So anyway, um, yeah, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're not already. Thumbs up. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe or survive. Yeah, subscribe and survive. And survive. Yeah. The line was really long. And once we got down to the second encore, looking at the playlist, once we got past six different ways, I decided to run up real quick and get a shirt because the lines were way, 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 way too long before we went in there and I would have missed a lot. So they didn't have much left, but for my size, I needed a small and a t-shirt. So I grabbed this one right here. And then on the back, it has North America 2023. And it's got that moon. It looks like a moon. And because I got this one, I wanted to get a different hoodie. So the hoodie that I got was this one. And I got this in a medium. I had to go to a couple different booths because the first one was out of all sizes that I would wear. And I wanted one that I could actually wear, not just save it. And it's got all the dates for the North American tour. And then when we were leaving, there were some bootleggers out there and they were selling shirts and they were $20. And my brother said, you know, it'd be cool if you just got one, offer him $10. Cause he did the same thing. So they were bootleg shirts. He said he was gonna give me a small, but it was actually a medium. Um, this is the one I got. He said $10 is fine. Took my $10 and gave me a bootleg shirt, which is right here. Before going home, I had to try out some cheesy vegan, so stopped in here for a little bit of brunch. Okay, I wanted to try a little bit of everything. We got the pancakes, the potatoes, we got some eggs, French toast, bacon, and uh, we even got these little butter packs right here. Smart Balance, buttery spread, 100% vegan. And I asked about the bacon that they used and it's called Thrilling Bacon, which I haven't tried before, but it was really good. Everything here was really good. <music> Head into a little place I like to call vegan treats. Arrived at our last destination before I go home. We are at vegan treats. Let's go in. Vegan treats have been around forever. They are in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and this is the go-to place if you want some treats that are vegan. One of my favorites are these cannoli here, and I also love the Boston cream donuts, but they were out of those. And look at these cool hoodies. Here we have some souped up brownie with all kinds of different layers and goodness. And then these cannolis, we had the regular cannoli and then that strawberry crunch one. And then this is a just cheesecake deliciousness. So good. Sugar? It's the cinnamon brown sugar ice cream yeah. soft serve. And you got a brain freeze yeah. right now. <laughs> it hurts. So bad. Wow, your head's all red. You shave it every day, right? Almost every day, yeah. Not Walter White? You're going for the Walter White look? Yep, I'm the one who knocks. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. How does that, how's that taste? It's good. Really good? Yep. Vegan treats.